Hey, you wanted to do an update on Griffin Farms. I'm in the corn maze right now. Um, just because we're supposed to get some bad weather this week. And I wanted to let y'all see it before. I don't know. Hopefully the winds won't knock it down. But, I mean, that's sometimes the case. Uh, also, I wanted to talk to everybody about our sunflowers. We planted them two times <laughs> this year. But the deer decided on their own. They didn't consult me that we didn't need them this year. They're like, no, they are extremely well fed, which I mean, good for them, it's great, it's great. Um, so I'm pretty discouraged about that right now. I know everyone looks forward to those for their um, fall pictures, so I'm sorry. Um, but we did try twice to get those in and they just said, no, you don't get them this year. So there's that, um, I'm sorry. I know, um, like I said, everybody looks forward to those and I surely do, they're so pretty. Um, Hopefully we may still get maybe one or two, but um, it's not looking good right now. Um, and also with the pumpkins this year, we decided to let our land rest. And so we will not have pumpkins on the vine, but we will have plenty of pumpkins for everybody. Um, the decision came about as soon as the virus was coming in. And we really needed to make the decision, but we didn't know if we could host the pumpkin patch just because all of these events were being closed so we decided to let our land rest um but hey guess what october 3rd we will be open um we will have pumpkins they just will not be on the vine um again that decision didn't come easy uh obviously a lot of businesses are hurting right now because of this and um we're just thankful that we get to open um, we want to make this the fall festival of your dreams and we are trying everything that we can to make it a fun and safe um, visit for you. Uh, also with being safe, um, there's a few things we've implemented on the farm. We will have a sign at the ticket office that says CDC recommends everyone wear a mask. Um, the masks are when you are not able to social distance. We have lots of land so social distancing is possible. Um, obviously there's going to be a little, a uh, few areas that are more crowded than others. So we'll have signs up. I mean, everybody kind of knows the drill at this point that, I mean, you need a social distance. Um, so we'll have that up just as reminders. Um, again, for anybody who's, I guess, been living under a rock and doesn't know what's going on. Um, and so really we're just putting up what the CDC recommends. Um, obviously that's been changing daily. Um, the state's been changing daily as far as what's going on and it's different for an outdoor venue. So we're just trying to make it as safe as we can. Uh, we've also added four more hand sanitizing stations. Um, this is in addition to what we've already had on the farm. Um, and same with hand washing stations. Um, we're having four more brought in. Um, and this is extra what we've already had um, so that's gonna be a little different this year um, I think everybody's kind of aware that 2020 just doesn't operate the same as years past and I think everybody's learning and growing from this so I just wanted to kind of let everybody know I think it's more important to be honest up front and let everybody know um, before you drive all the way out here and you get to the ticket booth and are disappointed. I want I want to be honest with you and let everyone know um, that that's what's going on in the farm. Um, everything else is going to be the same. We've got some great activities. I'm super excited about this new addition. I can't wait to show you. Um, but I think that's all for now. And just know that we're, we're burning the midnight oil. It's going to be a great season regardless of what 2020 is throwing at us. So we're just, we're going to have fun anyway, right? All right. Thank you. We'll talk to you later. Bye.